Oh, shots to our left. I don't know where from. Oh, he's got an all. Be careful. Holy shit. Good job. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the early access so far with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's been out a few days now, I'm still having amazing fun, and the team are still busy working away at those lag problems, getting them fixed as soon as possible for us. There's a new oh devlog dropping any day now, also teasing a new mask. And while all that's ongoing during our early access playtime, I've been spending as much time as I possibly can training, practicing, trying to get good. And so far it's not really working that well. While trying to stay true to the tactic of staying in the edge of the new zone, keeping a sharp eye out for other people trying to enter the zone behind me, as 9 times out of 10, they're most likely going to be concentrating on getting to safety inside the new zone, rather than looking out for other players. Which, as I've said, can work 9 times out of 10. But that's if you can find the right loot to keep yourself alive. As with other games in the genres of Battle Royale and Survival, it's about as much luck, if not more, than skill itself. In fact, just over the weekend, I probably had five games, including solo, duo, and squads, where we literally couldn't find any medical equipment or decent long-range firearms. You will need a short to medium range and a long-range rifle, as well as medical supplies and boosters. Energy drinks and painkillers allow you to heal over time, and if you use enough of them, you'll even gain a slight running speed boost, which is perfect for outrunning the blue zone on foot. If you want to move a little bit faster though, you could always use one of the many vehicles located around the map. Advantage of course being faster movement, disadvantages being other players can hear your approach from much further away. Personally, I prefer to ditch the vehicle when it's down to the last few zones, as other players tend to focus all fire on your vehicle. But if you make it into the last few zones or the last zone itself, of course the zones are always randomised, so we could always end up on one little house that's already got a player camping inside, making for a very tense last encounter. Or maybe a completely open field with one sniper sat in a bush that you cannot see, leaving you completely exposed. If you're like me though, you tend to finish top 10 most of the time and rarely first. I find as soon as I get to top 10 or top 5, I'm usually surrounded by all the other players and they all target me. Don't know why, but for now I'll just put it down as I'm shit. So let me know in the comments below, what are your tactics? Do you want to share them? Please, I need to learn, I need to get good. Share them with me please. Are your winning matches left, right and centre and do not encounter the issues that I do? If not, why the fuck not? Please help me. <laughs> in, in all seriousness though, I'm really enjoying Battlegrounds. It's not that much of an issue, I'm getting plenty of kills and I'm going to leave you with some highlights if I haven't run out of highlights already because not many happen. Remember to leave a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment below telling me how good you are. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. All updates go to Twitter first on all upcoming videos and live streams. I'll see you peeps next time. the fuck? Oh no, left. Nice. Nice to be done, guys. Mm.